All right, here is the laser shield kit you're going to get from me. Uh, you're going to get this plus the hardware. Uh, there'll be two thumb screws and four M4 by 14 millimeter long uh, sets of hardware to lock the driver on. Okay, this here. Uh, is the adapter. Um, I make different angles of this, but uh, it's going to come with just the straight piece. Uh, if you need another one printed, um, I'm, I can uh, print another one at a different angle uh, for an extra cost. But uh, the initial kit's just going to get the straight one. That should cover it all. Uh, here's the shield. Here's where the port adapter goes that just plugs into the back there um, snaps into place real nice uh, that just locks into here this is fun doing it one-handed And it slides all the way down. Easier to do it when it's on the machine. Locks into place. Uh, it's designed so that uh, you can uh, unlock it from from there without uh, removing the port. Uh, you might have your have to have your collet off the router uh, to have this on on a stock X carve, um, just to give you the maximum room. When you get these. They will not have those two arms installed. You just have to, uh, those have to be glued into place. Okay. I uh, test fitted all of these. Um, so when you get them, I've already made sure that everything fits. Uh, with the shield uh, slots on the bottom. This piece here goes on the right side. This piece here goes on the left side. They can only fit one way. Okay. Uh, what I suggest you do is to uh, put your epoxy or super glue uh, in here and kind of fill up the bottom of that. And then take this and press it in there and then get a clamp on it uh, to hold it in place good and tight. Uh, obviously don't crank it down, this is still plastic no matter what way you look at it, it's still plastic. Uh, and then once that dries you can do the other side. Uh, same thing. Uh, that works out pretty good but it's going to be easier for shipping and better if these are shipped loose, less chance of breaking. Uh, and that's it.